Welcome to Crit Farms and Extension Services, alias Crit Farm Nigeria. On this platform, we talk about everything that has to do with farm setup, poultry farm setup, piggy farm setup, fish feed farm setup, a snail farm setup, every type of setup of farm that we do here. So today we are bringing you to our poultry. Under the poultry, we want to be talking about a simple mechanism or simple ways to control bed flu in your farm and uh, when just one influenza comes into your farm called bed flu every bed you have be it 10,000 20,000 5,000 3,000 one single flu can wipe away your entire bed farm or poultry farm so welcome again to Christmas extension services my name is mr chris We'll be talking about bed flu, simple techniques of controlling bed flu. Just in case you are my returning subscriber, I want to say thank you very much for uh, watching our videos and giving us thumbs up, commenting, I appreciate it. Just in case you are just pumping into the first time, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the notification button to be notified each time we upload a new video. Give us a thumbs up, comment on our video, share to your friends and where we shall do that into farm. Especially on that poultry. On that poultry, since we're on poultry setup, we'll be talking about poultry generally um, with emphasis on bed flu. You have to finish building your poultry house, you bring in your cages, you do the A to Z of it. But there is a little gap or there is a little pointer that is very minute that people does not see, which is aspect of the entrance of other beds or predators into the farm, especially beds. Bed is or bed generally is a pointer that shares or distributes or uh, disseminates bed flu. Should in case you are running a poultry farm and there is another poultry farm in a close by location, a bed from a different farm that went to eat or drink your their poultry feed or they are drinking their poultry water can as well fly to your own farm. If that farm is infested with bed flu, it carries that bed flu from that farm and brings it to your farm. And when it brings it to your farm, it comes to eat or it comes to drink water. As a result of that, it will transfer that bed flu in that farm and bring it to your farm. So how do you control the bed so that they will not want to come into your farm? Now, or what is the access? What way do these beds come into your farm? This is a poultry house now that you built. After finished building the poultry house, maybe you forgot to put netting in the gable roof. You can see the gable roof. Look at it. If you watch our YouTube channel, you see how we show the gable roof. This is now the opening in the gable roof. What do you do so that bed does not come through the, go, uh, the gable roof? You get nets. There are some nets you can use. You can use a uh, light net. You can use the net you use in constructing the, this, this net. This net you see here now. You can use this one too to cover it. The excess or the piece or cut off you get from this place, you can use it to cover this place. This gable roof opening here, you cover it from starting to ending of that place. Then the other place that beds comes into your farm again is through this place. You can see this place, there's opening here. So you still use that same cut off to cover, cover up all the entrance to ensure beds does not come from another farm to enter your farm. If a bed goes to a, a particular farm that has a bed flu, he eats or drinks their water and flies from that poultry farm and fly into your farm and penetrate through the gable roof or penetrate through this place and enter into your farm and start eating or feeding on your poultry beds or, or your poultry feed, they will transfer that same flu into the feed, transfer that same flu into the water. Of which, when the other bears start drinking, once one is contacted, the rest, the flu will be uh, uh, spreading through the whole farm. And before you know it, you see that a complete farm of 10,000 beds are wiped away. So please, should in case you are built a poultry farm, you are an engineer like us, you set up farms, maybe you are finally setting up the farm, you forget to oh, close, all these, oh, you close all these spaces using this net. As a result of that, birds will come into the place and disseminate this 
bird flu into your bed and the whole flock you have will be, will be destroyed. Imagine you're buying a point of play for 2,400, 2,500, 2,800. You buy it, you multiply it by 10, 10,000. You bring in plus the transportation, plus the feeding. And after putting everything, a bed, just one single bed, flew into your farm and fed or eat on your feet or drink on your water and disseminate this uh, a bed flu to your farm, you are going to be losing millions of naira. So should in case, after you finish building your poultry house or setting up your cage, all you do, you try your possible bed to close this gable roof there with a net and the four corner of this wall around, ensuring that there is no way that an, uh, uh, anybody or any kind of bed will fly into the farm. Because for instance now, there are beds that have already flew into this farm, although we've not covered the places. I'm just using it as a pointer. Look at one of them. I just thought this one, we flew through the opening. Look at one now. You see? This is one of them. If this bed goes to another farm and eats their feet there and flies into this farm and starts feeding or drinking from this poultry, uh, this cage or the po either you are doing a depleter system or doing a battery cage system, he will transmit that flu into this place and all the beds here will be contaminated. And once your farm is attacked or affected by bed flu, all the beds there will be wiped away. Secondly, your floor system. When you are building, remember to put the water bath at the gate or the entrance of each of the poultry house. You can see the gates now. If you want, we are still working on this one. We are still we are still working on it. It's not done yet. You ensure you put your water bath here at the two places so that anytime anyone is entering, he must put what his water bath which is the to disinfect his food before entering the farm. And everything that you have to do with farm, all your shoe, your footwear, ensure they are there. So that when you come in, you just put your leg on what you already have and continue. So these are what we are talking about, about simple methods of what, controlling your best view. Simple methods of controlling best food from attacking your bears is to ensure you close all the openings in your farm and put in the water bed, the foot bath of that place. So these are what we do or we talk about a simple method of controlling bed flu. Should in case you still want us to do farm for you, want us to build for you, we can do the A to Z of your building for you. If you want to do uh, cages, we can fabricate the, uh, cages for you. And our cages is so beautiful as so well. it is uh, imported cages. We do them beautifully. You can see we are still fabricating. We are not done with it. When we are done with it, we are going to show you. Just that this point I came up, I said, okay, let me just do it to ensure our, our, all our poultry farmers are secure. Thank you very much once again for choosing Great Farm Nigeria. You want to go into poultry farming, please remember us. You want to do cages, imported cages, locally fabricated cages, farm setup, the building itself, the A to Z, manure scraper, manure dryer, or anything that has to do with farm setup. Please remember to reach out to us. Our number is 80 36 If you are not in Nigeria, remember to put our country code plus 23480-36-92-57-18. Please share our videos, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you are coming for the first time. For those that are returning subscribers, we are saying a very big thank you for you. Thank you to you. Thank you very much because you have brought us thus far. We appreciate your efforts. We say thank you and do have a blessed day.